YouTube, Laughing Pikachu here, welcome back to another video. Um, so today's video is, is kind of a weird video. Um, before you, you, you make any judgments or accusations or, you know, voice your opinions, I have just one simple request that you watch the entire video. I, you guys are feel, you, you feel free to, to say anything you want, but before you say anything, please just make sure you hear my side of the story first. Okay. So, yesterday I opened up a mystery power box and it was like very, very clearly a fake opening. I mean, there was like the wrong packs in it and all that stuff. And the reason I had made that video was because I was planning on making a second video today where I exposed how this was, it was a fake opening and then from there talking about how there's so many things that are fake on the internet and then from there talking about things like, okay, well, there's like PewDiePie right now who's being accused of doing a lot of things and while the jokes that he made were not necessarily the best decisions ever, I think that the media is portraying him in a way that makes him look like a really bad person and thus making YouTube seem like this really terrible place when it's not. Um, and, and essentially make a video um, sort of promoting and um, defending PewDiePie. And then on top of that, um, going off of the tangent of, you know, talking about fake things on the internet and how you can't believe everything you see on the internet, I was going to talk about how there's a lot of um, websites out there, that, out there that are being accused of like scamming people and mapping packs for Sun and Moon. Um, you know, people have made up, uh, made openings where they've opened up packs from like Darium's Pokemon, CCG Castle, and you know, Troll and Toad and stuff like that. And I wanted to sort of use this video where I had, I had faked something and say that, look, you can't believe everything that you see on the internet and you need to be able to make your own opinions on stuff like that and just make sure that you are getting um, a good amount of research and information before you make these judgments about these people and don't just let one video, you know, determine everything about that. So anyways, um, I have a feeling that some people are still not going to believe my side of the story and, I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. I'll be the first to admit that I delivered this poorly. Um, I should have either made both of the videos like together as like one video, so like trap this part on to the end of that video, um, but I wanted it to be a more dramatic reveal and stuff like that, but clearly it was a bad decision on my part, so I will admit I messed up there. Um, but yeah, I just, I wanted to make a point that not everything on the internet is true and then sort of use this to defend some websites out there who are being accused of things when they, they really shouldn't be. Um, but it, it just didn't turn out that way and I'm sorry, um, I messed up. Uh, with that being said, I have a feeling some people are still going to say that, you know, I was trying to make money off of that video and trying to get exposure and all this stuff. Um, the video was actually not monetized at all so you shouldn't have seen any ads when you were watching that video. Um, I made zero dollars off of that video, so if that was my intent of trying to make money, then clearly I would have monetized the video. Um, also, some people are probably going to say that I was trying to get exposure and stuff. I've actually made that video completely private now, um, so, I mean, why would I, I would want to keep that video up if I wanted to see a bunch of people, you know, get, watch the video and, you know, see my channel through it. Um, also, that would be a really bad video to, to get new subscribers from because, you know, who would want to, like, watch fake openings and stuff? like? That's just, I don't know. But anyways, um, I'm sure there's still going to be a lot of other things said about me, and um, I probably deserve it. I mean, I delivered it poorly. I will say that over and over again. I delivered this poorly. I should have thought it out better, um, and it just it didn't work out. I apologize. I, I was trying to use this to start a new series of like discussions and stuff because I realized that a lot of people look to me um, as a friend on YouTube or as a person that they can come and talk to, um, and you know that means a lot to me, and I wanted to sort of use that to make you know, these videos where I can tell you guys about things that I've learned or things that you guys can use in your life um, because there's a lot of, you know, especially like there's a lot of young people out there who um, watch these videos daily and I, I think that this is an important thing to do. It's we I wanted to make this channel a lot more than just a pack opening channel, but like something that you can actually like grow from and learn from and you know hopefully in the process both of us can be become better persons because I'm not perfect at all um, but because of all the comments that you guys you know tell me uh, you guys are constantly inspiring me and encouraging me to become a better person myself so that you know I can become you know a better person for you guys um, so anyways um, there is that I, I'm going off tangent now and just talking about random stuff because I'm freaking out um, I want to thank all the people who did support me and, um, you know, I, again, I apologize if I ruined your trust for anything, um, I, I, I don't know, even know what else to say, like, I messed up, guys. I should have made this as one video or just not posted it at all, and it is what it is, we are where we are, I can't, like, take it back, I made it private already, um, so you can't even watch it anyways, um, but yeah, 
I mean, it was very clear that it was a fake opening and I did that on purpose. I mean, like the packs were completely wrong. There was a time lapse in between. Um, believe it or not, the cuts in the video were actually like just because my phone ran out of space. Like, but yeah, um, a lot of you guys are probably asking how did I um, do it? Um, how did I, you know, fake the opening and get the, the old vintage pack in? Uh, so in between, so like I, I did a time lapse and then once I did the time lapse, um, I, I put the the old pack in and then I started recording the video. So it was in between the time lapse and then the actual opening video, there was a cut there and I put it in. But anyways, there's that. Um, thank you for watching. Feel free to dislike this video because I messed up and that happens sometimes. Um, but I'm looking forward to, to moving forward and um, looking forward to moving forward. That's like too many forwards in a sentence. Thank you guys and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.